You're with the Yakman Ryan Yakavetti at the Strike Force on CBS Open Workout Presser. To say that this man has been around MMA would be to say that the Atlantic Ocean is wet. Stephen Quadros, the fight professor. Thanks for joining us, Stephen. It's a pleasure, Ron. Good to see you, Yakman. So, I've got to ask you, th this card, anybody who follows the sport would agree, is probably extremely stacked. You have seen MMA as long as anybody. You know it as well as anybody. Your assessment of the card coming up on CBS next. Well, when they announced the first fight, which was Dan Henderson and Jake Shields, I got very excited. Then Shinya Aoki, did I say that right? Aoki, sorry, uh, against Gilbert Melendez. And that was the thing where Gilbert wanted to test himself. Josh Thompson's going to have to wait for that trilogy. He wanted to test himself against the big noise from Japan, and that man is making noise. And that was, But then when they announced King Mo against Gate Guard Musashi, I was like, oh, man. That's the fight, the best fight in the game right there. What does this do for the sport where people want to see, like, like Jake Shields talked about fighting GSP, and obviously that fight not in the works, not possible right now. What does it mean for the sport to take a guy like Aoki from, from Dream and have him go up against a guy as good as Melendez? Well, that, that just shows you that you can have cross promotions. You can take the biggest promotion in Japan, you know, the apparent you know, the heir apparent to pride, which is Dream, and they got all the best stars over there, including some of the greatest stars from here, and of course, Mario Zoromskis is their welterweight champion, so many great fighters over there, and you're doing a cross-promotion with Strike Force. that means you're getting the world picture, and I like that. Right. You knew of Zoromskis from the Cage Rage days, because you were commentating for Cage Rage back in the day, so there's a lot of guys like that filtering in. You were there too. Yes, I was, I was there one time, but you were there, all. you were the voice of Cage Rage. What does it mean to you to see something like this happen too? With again, it's back on CBS. Network TV did not give up on the sport. You have seen the sport before it could get airtime on almost any network. Now, prime time. What does that mean to you as somebody who's been involved from the beginning? Well, that means a great deal to me because when we're seeing something like a CBS on a Saturday night, which we've seen before with the Pro Elite days as well, but now we're seeing three title fights, and these are significant title fights. All of these fighters are top-level fighters facing off, and we got the international flavor, and you got the, you know, the, the personality flavor with guys like King Mo, and oh man, this is just a stellar situation. I, you know, five years ago, even three years ago, we didn't have this, but now we do have this, and that's Jimmy Lennon. Jimmy, I'm talking over here. <laughs> He's always interrupting crowds, that guy. Well, he, he, gets, he gets a bye, he gets a bye you know, because Jimmy is the class, you know. But I think it's an exciting time for the sport. You've got, you know, the UFC's doing phenomenal work, you know, Strike Force doing great work, and now the CBS and Showtime bouncing back and forth. I mean, that's, that's incredible. The only thing they need now is for me to work on the CBS shows occasionally. <clears throat> Thank you. Matter of fact, we should have some kind of a text number. People can text in the vote to bring. Bring the fight professor on the show. You always do a great job on there. Your insight, you know the sport so well. To listen to you is to be educated while watching television, which people don't like unless they don't know they're being educated. But you pull it off. It's entertaining and it's smart. Well, I, I try to do that because sometimes I try and speak the language of the common people that don't understand what a single and a double and a gogo plata and a, any of the other sophisticated terminology that we do. I try and speak the, their language so that they will understand. You notice how that when he talked, Jimmy Lennon didn't talk, and how when I started talking, Jimmy, wait, you stop. What's the deal? Yeah, I have an open tab with a visa over there right now. Just so when I talk, so you, yeah, yeah. Was, when Yak Man talks, settle down, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lennon. All right, so when can people see you again on air for Strike Wars, and where can they find your stuff online? Because if you don't know, not just a talented commentator and personality in the sport, but also an incredible musician. So where can people find out more of your stuff? Well, you can find me on Showtime once again on March 26th with Strike Force Challengers from Fresno. It's a really, really good card. Got a really good women's fight there. Zoila Frosto against Misha Tate, two really, actually, uh, ob objectively speaking, very, very beautiful women going head to head with a variety of skills. One's a great wrestler, one's a great Muay Thai fighter. And then you got, uh, what, LeVar Johnson, the big man with the big punch with that, that well, I call it the deodorant punch where he reaches underneath the guy's <laughs> armpit. It's like sure, unsure, and he hits you in the chin, knocks you out, it's great. And then if you want to reach me, go on to Facebook. The spelling on Stephen Quadros is S-T-E-P-H-E-N-Q-U-A-D-R-O-S. And if you put that uh, single word after myspace.com or facebook.com, actually today I just got my thing where Facebook said you can't have any more friends. I thought, <laughs> I thought, what? Now how do I break this to people without sounding like, hey man, I'm it, whatever. Or you can do twitter.com slash Stephen Quadros. And then of course, uh, you know, I'm, it's a pleasure here to be with the Yak Man. Ron Yacovetti. The fight professor Stephen Quadros. Watch him March 26th on Strike Force on Showtime.
Be his fan on Facebook. Uh, we're going to find a way to get him more friends. We're going to break the cap. <laughs>